all right guys so welcome to today's video right here in today's video we will continue our work on this character editor game right here and as you guys know in the last video we have finished the data store system and we have verified that it works fine and now we are gonna make the buttons right here work okay so the buttons work in that sense that when you press here for example that actually saves okay so that this right here changes this hair value changes all right that is the purpose of today's episode and we'll we might do some more things but yeah stay tuned okay so let's go inside of this gy right here let's go inside of that wait is it in here wait man nah it is in here yeah there we go okay so we have to see handler now then we are fire servering Okay, and this is the server script. All right, so what we want to do is that we want to wait. So since this is a server script, and since you guys know how the status still works, all you got to do is that you have to take this, okay, this line right here, go inside of the server script, paste it in here, instead of player with a lower P, you play with a upper p uppercase here and then change shanks here to arc dot here so what basically happens in here is that once the script is supposed to apply the here it does all of the things you guys are probably aware of since the first episodes where i've already explained what is going on here but then we also have this line right here and this line as you guys know from the last episode is responsible to change the hair within that data store by adding some certain arguments in here and now instead of having shanks here as the argument of the value we would like to replace our hair's formal value with we now have arc.hair which is also the hair we are supposed to adapt after clicking the button okay now let's play and let's see how this looks like as you can see it says shanks here now data store request was added to queue Okay, now, nah, so this will happen often now. Go three. Let's actually stop. Let's play again. Let's see if it has saved. Still says shanks here. Now, nah, go three. Ah, yeah. It says shanks here because we still have the script in here. Let's actually make sure that it is disabled. And yeah, so that part works fine now. We are now able to change our data store by just clicking on the button. And the next port now is to move on with this customization by clicking on this button and then being able to change the colors, you know. So that would be the next step, guys. And yeah, let's do that. Hair frame. Okay. Hair frame. Next page. Mouse button, one click. Connect function. There we go. So, when this next page button has been clicked, then we want to do the following. Then we want to take this. Okay. So, it's tween right here. And then tween it back to where it came from. So, minus 51 right here. Let's make that plain. Let's actually wrap this in a variable. T play. And once T is completed, we would like to make sure that hair frame visible equals false. Okay. And then we need another frame right here, which is going to be hair color frame. Okay. And we have to copy this here, color frame, here, color frame. And now we have to customize this a little. So instead of having here button right here, we want to call this color button. And let's change this to customize your hair color. 
And now we have to create the color stuff. Let's take this right here. Come on. Let's put it in here. Here, color frame. Here, color frame visible true. Okay, now let's play and let's see how this looks like. As you can see, it now creates another frame or it makes another frame appear, which allows us then to customize our hair color. And yeah. Now, what we gotta do is that we have to make those buttons, those color buttons appear. And this will be a little bit more complicated depending on how you wanna do this. So my idea is that we create a table of available colors and this contains the name of all of the available colors so black institutional white really red deep orange reddish brown lime green medium blue and some other colors so you can come up with the craziest colors if you want so i'm using those brick colors right here by the way so if you haven't understood what kind of colors i'm using but yeah there's the orange and we can add a bunch of other colors as well what we have to do now is that we have to loop through this table okay So for IV in pairs, wait, wait, we have to do it. We have to do it this way. So if hair color frame, scrolling frame, get children, and then the amount of children in there, if that amount is equal to zero, then we would like to look through this table. So available colors do. And for each color we have in here, we would like to create a representative button by cloning this button and putting it inside of the scrolling frame, you know? And instead of having zero right here, we have to put one in here because we have one instance in here by default. So let's take this button, color button clone, equals V, text is gonna be empty visible is true parent is gonna be here color frame scrolling frame and apply here color color is gonna be the button's name now the only thing we have to do is that we have to change the color of the button color free from so that is the thing how do you or how can we determine the brick the, the color free of a brick color How is that going to work? Okay, there we go. That's the way to do it. Okay. Let's play. Let's see if it works. Color button is not available. Member of airframe. Ah, yeah. Totally forgot about that. There we go. Okay, th there are a bunch of colors which are not available. Why? And also, why is this why is this button so big?
Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just quickly go through what I've just done, okay? Because I think that it was, it was way too fast. Uh, so... This tween basics So wait. First of all, when we click on this next page button, this tween makes our hair frame go back. And once this tween is completed, it means once it has to make this hair frame go back is completed, we want to set the visibility of this hair frame to false. Next thing is that we have another frame now, okay? So we have just cloned it. Now we are setting that visibility to, to true. Now we are having a tween of this frame, which tweens it into our screen, okay? So the same way our hair frame usually pops in this one will pop in as well and now we basically check if the amount of instances inside of the scrolling frame equals one why one because we already have an instance in here by default now the thing is why why, why are we even checking this we are basically checking this to ensure that the frame does not contain any buttons any color buttons because if it does then we don't want to clone some more buttons in there because there are already some buttons that's the reason why we have to make sure that it is empty at the beginning and if it and if, if that is the case then we can start to clone in some buttons okay so we don't we do not want to double the buttons in there that's the reason why we are checking for it and we also should check right here for the same thing so if hair frame scrolling frame only contains one then we want to do this and this will be important later when we are able to go back okay so right right here we are only able to scroll to the next page but uh, later on we will also be able to go back to the former pages and that is when this thing will be pretty important okay now what we're doing right here is that we are basically looping through this table okay which contains the name of a bunch of colors and for each color in here for each entry we are cloning a button the button which is going to represent that color and this button is going to be this one cloned in here, which has a unique name, which is then, of course, going to be the name of this color right here, which which is going to have a certain color, which is going to be the brick color in color three. OK, so brick color is a different unit and color three is a different unit. That is the reason why we have to convert from brick color to color three. Okay, and you guys should be aware of the rest already. And yeah, so this doesn't work 100% right now, but we are going to make it work in the next episode, guys. With that being said, thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, share this video with your friends, leave feedback in the comment section, guys. Take care and see ya.